All right, guys, so I promised a video showing upgrading to the iPhone 13 Pro for me and my wife. Cost-wise, I went and dug into how much it was going to cost, all that jazz, and essentially, I like to show my wife before I say hey, we're getting this stuff. I like to show her that it's not going to cost very much or that we can actually afford it. So let me show you what I put up on the board here, kind of prepping for my presentation tonight even though I already pre-ordered it. <laughs> okay, let me show you where we're at here. So, her phone in gold, the iPhone 13 Pro, 128 gigs, gonna cost $9.99. The one I want is the iPhone 13 Pro in blue, 256 gigabyte. Um, it's $10.99, so together you're looking at $2,098. Then down here, here are the credits we are eligible for. Instant credit for my phone, which is the iPhone 12 mini, gets me $400. Her phone, which is the iPhone 12 Pro, gets her $640. So we have a credit amount here of $1,040. Now, because we're T-Mobile customers and we're on the correct price plan uh, and all that, if we activate these phones with T-Mobile... Um, which we're going to do anyway. T-Mobile is going to give us $500 per line. And it's, uh, I already double checked, they are going to do $500 per line, which for both of us would be 1000 bucks over 24 months. So they take that $1,000, or the $500 per line, they split it up over 24 months, so they essentially give you a credit of $41.66 per month for 24 months. Still $1,000 worth of credit. All right, so our total credits here, $2,040. Now, that means that our total cost to get the new phones is $2,098. Our total credits, $2,040. The actual cost, less our credits, is 58 bucks plus the tax on the phones. So I literally get to go home and say, hey, we get new iPhones for $58 plus tax. And she's going to be like, oh my God, that's so amazing. Let's do it. And I'll say, okay. And then the little details, well, they'll work themselves out. But uh, at least I get a new phone. <laughs> so uh, that's it. That's it. And uh, I'm just going to go back to my face here. So I actually got an email from Apple because today is Thursday, day before pre-order. And the email essentially said I could pre pre-order. So I went in and plugged all the information in for what I wanted, what I was trading in, all that stuff. And it essentially said that I just have to come back in the morning as soon as it opens up and push a button to confirm. Even though on my Apple card, it already put all the authorizations, it already put the monthly payments because that's how I'm going to do it. That's how you get the instant credit. Um, I'll probably just pay it off. But um, it's a good deal, so that's why I did it that way. All that authorization and the monthly payments and all, it's already on my Apple card, so I'm not exactly sure. I guess I just hit a confirm button, but it kind of seemed like it was all, like I pre-pre-ordered. It was almost like it was a done deal. We'll see what the in the morning looks like, but uh, I'm pretty excited about it. It's all done. And then, so I did that like four hours ago. I, I don't know, maybe it was a little bit longer, like six hours ago. And then like 30 minutes ago, I get a notification on my iPhone from the app store, it says, hey, don't forget, first thing in the morning. So they are really pushing hard to get people to order. So eh, we could probably fill a whole nother video or a whole bunch of comments about why they're doing that. Anyway, I'm excited. I'm excited about the features and the phones and everything. So I'd say, let's do it. Now I got this awesome argument to, to get the permission to do it from my wife. So, hey, thanks for tuning in, guys. I appreciate it. I'll be pre-ordering first thing in the morning, and I'm excited to use this new tech with uh, these new videos that I'm making. So we'll be getting a lot more stuff up here soon. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. Y'all have a great day.